it's a fall day. Today we are going to start a retaining wall around the door. Um, right now, because of this slope that we have coming from the back of the, from the north side, that slope is causing water to run down the steps into the greenhouse. So we are working on getting that buttoned up a little bit. We're gonna put the two inch foam down on the ground, put some plastic over that, and then we're going to start a rock retaining wall. Or do you want me to keep getting more dirt? Yeah, I, I think we do need to set a couple rocks here, because otherwise the dirt is going to keep falling. So, actually, that one. Yeah, um, a good there's some one. landscape fabric uh, in the shed, maybe like in the corner, one of the corners. <laughs> maybe like one yeah. of the corners. Right. Looking bigger than that. That one behind you? I guess it'll be firmed up out there. I was just seeing. And we can put fabric around. Just like water going to come through here, you know. So we should probably. Maybe we put plastic. So we need to go get some of those big rocks down there. Do we need to draw a line so that we know where it's connecting? Or? Yeah, you know, like, we're gonna come out somewhere into here, my guess. So the water that comes down the hill, you know, doesn't just come this way. The concern is that it's just gonna follow into here, right? So we gotta get this, out, like we were saying, built up out here. So it goes that way. This is the right rock for this spot. Might be better up in here. Search for another one. I just over time that you know this doesn't sink, you know. Oh. Right. Why don't we maybe go get a couple of shovels in the sand? We have sand back by the shed? Yeah. No? Yeah.
That sits really nice. This might be a better one for... To set on top of that next row? Yeah. Okay. I think we'll still need to either have like flat rocks come across here. Because I still don't want you know water to hit and then just run down. That's, I'm still worried about this it running down here. Okay. So if we were able to like, literally you know, end up with a step up here. And I know that still leaves this area for some water possibly, but it'll definitely be less than full, I guess. So this has to come up to like, I think one more level. Well that would just get it ground level. I don't want to make this too tall of a wall. I know, but doesn't it have to come up to where the berm is going to be out there? Not necessarily. What we have to do is get backfill, and then we can kind of see. But yeah, for sure another level. I don't know about one above. The one above it maybe sits back a little further. Well, I like this rock here because it fits this groove, fits into that okay. point really nice. But I just wish maybe it was a little bit bigger on the rock. On the, oh, sure. On the corner here. We'll see if we leave it. Well, that all looks really nice. So, yeah, we're kind of getting to that point where we need to put... I guess it would be nice if we get this somewhere into here with this second row. And then we can put fabric behind there. One of those little chunks <coughs> of what? You know, the foam can you get to fit behind there. You want to work on that one. You might need some, looks like you might need some dirt actually down in, in You that. mean you want? Yeah, right in there. Okay. We got the, this side of the retaining wall done. So we ended up adding a third level just so the wall over on this end would be level with the wall over on the other end. Yeah. It's working good. The water's you know, running down the slope here and coming on the outside of the retaining wall and heading down the driveway and not into the greenhouse door. So. It's working good. Got some trim up. Yeah, that looks really nice. Yesterday. Where did you find that wood? <laughs> Our scrap lumber piles. Oh, nice. But, so now it closes well with the... The stop, the stop. in there? Yep. Nice. 